Oh, I'm sorry, Abe, but you better figure the odds. Hey, Pringle. Uh, What's wrong? Your shingles bothering you? Well, there's a little more itch to it than shingles. It, 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 it's more a matter of uh, survival, if you know what I mean. Excuse me. Hold on, Pringle, and don't panic now. You ought to be hung for such a show of faint-hearted guts. Well, ain't just a matter of guts, really, now. You don't expect me to take that mob on sea land. It? Nobody expects you to do it alone. You pick out the deputies you like. Now, go on. Well, they're willing, and they can shoot to boot. So let's get with it, huh? Mr. Travis, you got to be kidding. You know who them gunslingers are? No, but I know what they're here yeah, for. Yeah, well, the slip fingers bottles. Silvertop, the preacher, and Apache Joe. And they're mean critters, too. No joke. Blackguards. They know old Dan Carver's getting out today. And they're waiting there like a bunch of hyenas. Yeah, and lucky for us, they forgot to show up with Trash Benson. <laughs> something if we're going to save Carver. Look, can't, can't he just stay in jail? No, he can't. It's 20 years I've been waiting for him to come out. You're going to give him to me. To me, you blood run idiot. Yeah, instead the preacher or Benson. Yeah, that's the idea. Yeah. You go ahead, Pringle, and get rid of those phonies out there. And you'll be very generously compensated. Yeah, and murdered. Steady. I'd like to choke Carver. Yankee doodles. Doodles, Yankee dandy. Yankee doodles are so stupid. I cannot think what your Yankee doodles are. Oh, well, now I always thought you were completely empty in the upstairs area. Listen, Loho, you got big manos. And they work hard all day. You'll be 20 years in jail. And you know why? Because instead of the brain, there's air. I may be getting a little clouded. Yeah, but old Dan Carver ain't about to get roped into your infamous and insidious two bit deceptiveness. Is everything okay? You work for the mining prospectors, and I bet it was Travis that put you up to bleeding the unknown quantity out of me. 
But I see through you, you silly dude. I'm not getting choused. Nobody's going to juggle this geezer because there ain't no one can bamboozle all that mm-hmm. gobber. There is no doubt you're loco. Crazy and loco. You know I'm getting out today, don't you? See, but they, they lock you up again and put you in the crazy house. Yeah, the Travers tell you that? He and Estes Travers, you are loco. I don't know no Travers. Let's get with it, Carver. Time's a waste. Adios, son. I mean, you can have me statuary if it's here, only they ain't worth a plug nickel, I'm sorry. Anyhow, amigo, when you meet up with Slippery Bill Travers, tell him there ain't nobody around that can hoodwink this old veteran miner. Your poor brain is an old cabbage. You're a local old man. I don't know no Travers. Well, I hope you both go to blazes. You are local. Adios, young fellow. I don't know no Travers. Here, sir. Oh, old Dan Carver. Well, come on in. Well, old timer, I guess the proverbial hour has come, huh? Sit down. You got any uh, any plans? Can I be of uh, some help? Well, I had a mind to, to buy a, a ratchet sonore. He could not. Mm, and I'd say two to one, she'll be a knockout. <laughs> well, I ain't too particular. Any woman, I think, will do under the circumstances. Twenty years is a long time. Uh, that's right. That's right. It's a pretty good plan. Except that to set up a ranch, you're going to need uh, mucho dinero. Oh, I got a dollar or two saved up. Mm. Come. You uh, recognize anybody? Uh, no. They've been waiting for you to get out. They look on this. A bunch of renegades. Outlaws. Ready to kill and loot. They're without scruples. I can imagine. You're the best warden that this prison has ever had, sir. And I wouldn't mind remaining voluntarily, so to speak. No, Carver. I insist, sir. At exactly 4 p.m., you'll be leaving, Miss Carver. There's five little minutes to go. I decline the offer. I'm sorry, but uh, you've got to get liberated. But I don't want to get liberated. If I don't want to get liberated, why should I get... Uh... You don't like to be thrown up to them sharks, huh? Well, you better start talking, old man. Where's the gold? I'll break your back, you miser. I didn't steal that gold. I, I'm innocent, I tell you. Hmm. I'd like to come out to me, Sal. Be a good guy. You don't want to be hung. They're going to murder you. They delight in lynching and hanging. Now, how about telling me where that gold is hid, huh? No pussyfooting or I'll crack your Adam's apple. My heart. What's the matter with your heart? Goodbye, Warden. No, hey. Come on. Come on, be a good guy. No, hold it. We'll divide the uh, gold, huh? Divide in the two halfies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just sit there. Take it easy. Mm-hmm. Here. Have a... Shit. Hey, guard! <laughs> it serves you right. I made a gallop to take you. What's all about? Mm, sounds like those dudes there are going to break in. You can go home now, Mr. Travers. Mm. Uh, I've been waiting 20 years, 20 years for this precise moment. Go home, Pringle. Hmm? Pass out rifles and ammunition. Go on, get started. Mm. Help yourselves. Ammunition? Here. Here. You satisfied? Yep. <laughs> you give up already, Trash? Yep. I'm beginning to think the winning ain't worth the waiting here. So I think I'll go take a bath and, and go to bed. And if you critters want a pack of idiots, that you are, you get your asses moving before sunup. Here you are, sir, the finest room in our establishment, or a hotel, as it were. Now, this here's your bed, as styled with consummate taste and matching curtains, sir. You got anything bigger than that? No, it's a honeymoon bed. It's already oversized. Oh. 
a honeymoon. Well, I think now you better be gone, huh? Oh, of course, of course. you do? Oh, listen, I pulled a, a true rose and that beggar. He wanted to, to break me pride, the ghoul. Can you imagine? Why, you're so... Hey, uh -huh. give me that sheet. Uh -huh. You're not going to escape uh -huh. with me. Can't talk all I'm on to you. You're an open book of dubious verse, you are. I, and you're a thief and a patent spy. I, uh, you want to call the guard. Now that you mention it, I hadn't thought of it. Guard! Listen, old man, please don't break the balls. <laughs> someplace. What's the trouble? A preacher? No trouble, just a little clash of personality. I was dead asleep up in the light clash. So put a little plug in your personality. Since you ain't sleeping, if you think your personality will allow you to share a carload of gold pieces with Colorado Preacher and his boys, I ain't got no objection to it. Boy, you got pluck, I must say. Now, go on. Beat it. I'm getting fed up with the grubby side of it.
I think you're on your own side. Shh. Choose your side. I'll choose mine. I started to say. You looking for trouble? No, are you? No, for a friend named Dan Carver. Oh, see, see, see. Open the door, that's all. That's all. Don't ask too many questions. Oh, that's difficult. Oh, don't untie. You cry very loud. Easy, easy. Good boy. Who's that? Eagle. If you don't mind, now, I'd like to be alone. Oh, listen, this is my house in here. Very funny. Just stand guard outside. Funny. You think you are funny? Listen, Carver, I got two horses tied up outside waiting for us to go into partnership. What do you say? Me! Uh, why not? Forty sack of gold. Well, that's a pretty big feeding bag, huh? Me! You old goat, you expect to live long enough to spend all that loot, is that it? Put out! Out! You're being a thick-headed, blubbering idiot. That's a good proposition. Burroughs, Preacher, the Apache, and the rest. They're planning to cut you out. Oh, I'm after your gold, Carver. But do I want it all? No. No, I wouldn't think of doing such a thing. <laughs> you hid the guilt. But I'll find it. Come and give me a hand. <laughs> well, what are you taking away for? Because he's... My... My grandfather. Come on, let's go. Come on. See, see, but wait. We don't close the door. They got to escape. Men there, Mr. Drivers. The Apache's practicing and others are drinking. All right, we're ready. Listen, I don't like hunting people like shooting ducks. They're wanted dead or alive. Besides, the warden ain't letting Carver out while they're still around. If they get wind of us here, we ain't never going to get them out. If we got them trapped, then we're going to pump them full of lead. You two, get up on the porch roof. Yes, sir. And when you see them come out, go to it. Right, Mr. Drivers. Let's go. <laughs> Grab that sack. What? Oh, the sack. <laughs> Wait a while, over here. No good to talk when his tongue is dry. Will you shut up? My tongue is no dry. Here, cover him up. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, hmm? how much is 40 sacks of gold dividing to? I don't know what you're talking about. How about when you cut 40 in two and get 20 sacks? You pig, filthy rotten. You're a pig too, no? You wouldn't be itching for a bullet through your head. No, through the head. No, gracias. Wait a minute. Somebody's got to help me with this old fart. Going to have to be lifted. Mm. That's 20 circles. No, three. I'll give you three. Mm. And another ten. Filthy pig. That makes ten altogether. Plus three. Let's go. Give me a hand. <laughs> well, we give him 13 circles, too, no? Shut up. <laughs> Oh, help! They got away! Carver's escaped! Open up! All right, shut up and start fooling It's around. me! Joel! Carver's got loose! Come on and open the door! What the... Hurry up! Let me out! How? Unlock the door, damn you! Oh, I ain't got no keys. Sound the old alarm. Oh. Hurry it up, damn you! Here you go. 
got the key, sir. Well, go get it. Yes, sir. be your father. Ah, that's nice. Gracias, Papa. You blighted half-breed. <laughs> Mister, I don't think you speak no more. Pity that I'm dry and throat. Oh, I want to help you. You should listen to me. I know this old territory like nobody else. You're an idiot. Do you have any notion of this place that we're at? No, you don't. It's about six hours that we've been out of that jail. We're not more than a mile away, you baboon. That's right, he's, he's all part of a plan. Who would think we are so near? They go crazy looking, comprende? And your friend? The gringo? No, I make him lose my track. He knows him body go. Want some apple? No, I don't. Come on, boy, no. Listen, you know what you can do with your apple, don't you? Oh, that's a pity you'll have to eat a first thing. Because you're a good property. <laughs> the property and the map. Because you are the map, amigo. Worth a lot of money. But a map that'll lead you straight to hell. And in circles. Eh, you're a bad one. It's better you be the map. If you say yes, I untie you. And we go get the gold together. You want to know something? What? I'm dying of thirst. Then you tell me. I said I wanted a drink. Okay, I get you agua. But don't say I don't love you like a son, eh? You're working on me sentiments, are you? I'll beat you to death. Oh. <laughs> Start praying. Ah, uh, that's surprising. Uh, look who's coming back, Grandpa. <laughs> Our compañero. Oh, so now the dirty gringo's your compañero. <laughs> what are you saying? You're loco. Am I not? Well, why did you bother then to go around trying to ditch the guy? Are you ready? <laughs> no, no, I'm not ready. Sorry. You had it. I do. You prefer getting a bullet in the head or in the back? <laughs> no, I'm back. <laughs> Please. Pardon. I do. I do whatever you want. Well, then, keep quiet a second. Don't shoot. I heard horses back there. 
not to blast in his noodle. This Peruvian Judas knows every road going back over the frontier. I'm only interested in one road with a certain peculiarity. It was lined in gold. You know something about it, huh? Why, Hannah, do you know that I can't say? Because I've been in jail two decades, you know, and... See, and so your poor little brain forget. Oh, but I know. I know the country like the palms of the hand. The gold is in Mexico? Mm, might be. Now, look, don't make it tough on yourself. Just tell me where you hid the gold. No, nothing of the kind. Only me silence is golden now. Oh, what a pity. I was becoming fond of you, Carver. Well, that's bullshit trash. Your fondness is all lavished only on those 40 sacks of gold. <laughs> that's right, you can't kill him. It's true, senor. He worth more alive. More than we are. You stupid fool. You'll not share any part of the gold. No, we got a part. A part? No. You poor nincompoop pooping idiot. You made a deal, did you? You know what your part will be. A bullet through your brainless head. Right or wrong? Cross me again. And you'll get it. How about all, all the gold? My 13 sacos. You're getting on my nerves. Now, take me to Mexico. I sure should know where it's good. We go to Mexico. There are only two, two caballos. Those are our horses. You'll take a walk. And when the feet are tired, I can walk on my head, huh? No. <laughs> Let's get ready. Oh, greed is always in a hurry, ain't it? once he starts talking. I can hold out longer than a camel. You'd be a jackass if you did. That's not funny. Go to sleep. You're a heartless man, Trash. We're leaving tomorrow morning at dawn. Good night. When it's no just partner. And uh, pleasant dreams, partner. What's all this partner? Shh. Quiet, old man. Here, eat. What about you? Ah, don't worry about me. I eat grass like a horse. I'm only worried about you. Oh, what commiseration. Oh, I don't say this because of this. I, it's not because you're interested in the car. Oh, one or two. Maybe three sacos. That's all. A bullet in his head. And he'll have your gold. No, we do without it, the bullet. But don't worry. I got a good idea. Where's your Twitter in it, Paco? If you're thinking of walking off, I wouldn't try it. You know it don't pay to get me mad. I ain't above blowing your brains out. So shut up. Oh, see, see, sleep good. That's it. Bang. Right in the heart. Um, maybe it's better. Sure, you think I'm afraid of shooting? You gonna do it? I'm waiting. Supposing we force him into collaborate. Into what? There's no dispute in the fact that the horses are no longer around, nor that, nor that I'm an old man. What do you mean, old man? I need someone to go piggybacking with. Our fair friend. Come on, Gringo. Put him on your back. Sure sad. It was a fatality that you two idiots should have gotten together. Hey, wait a minute. It's your sacred duty, boy. Shoot him in the back. Listen, I'm going to pull the trigger, Gringo. Yeah, only 
First, you better check to see if your gun's loaded. Now, I'd really like to kill you, Marido. Wouldn't have been able to get any shut eye if I hadn't taken all the necessary precautions. Hmm. You going to continue? Why not? Carver, you wanted to go on piggyback, huh? No. Might be they like tortillas. I play with turn blue. And they'll swell. Oh, that's no fair. But what you did, that's mighty fair. All right, Carver, get moving. Mm. You weigh more than I do. Mere sheep. It's always me who gets it in the end. I would offer to change rules, but I have a touch of the money. I'm so squeezed. I'm saving her. Get moving. Come on. Maldito. It's a long way to Tipperary. It's a long way to go. Now cut that out. He who hath no music in his soul is fit for trees and stratagems and spoils. Pretty dense. Valley's overcrowded. Hey, nothing like gall to anchor into population. Let's form a pact. Oh, sure. And we form another one tomorrow. Together, we might figure it out. How to get the gold? But not separately. You covered die of starvation here without our help. But we ain't gonna let you die because nobody else has got a pile of gold. So? So I suppose we can divvy up the gold in three parts, right? Momentarily, no objection. Only both of you have to agree to show in greater reverence and respect for me personally. And carry me if you need to. Well, it's pretty reasonable. What do you say? See, okay. We carry you. And one other thing. Let us be honest with each other. True and true. And true blue. I say okay. You do, huh? Okay. Hmm. Is it? <laughs> for you, it's very easy. <laughs> Ain't you carrying a bit too far, Carver? No. It was part of our agreement to alleviate excessive strain on me waning resources. Oh, look. Is it real or just a mirage? Que pasa, Diego? Oh, there's a wagon and two caballos. And where's a bevy of gorgeous women? I can't wait. I thought you were weak. No cure like a woman to regenerate an old appetite. You're a bit too old, ain't you? Oh, no, too old, no. Hey, I shall not be courting you, beggars. Leave me be. What you care? Who says I can't? Richard Carver. Don't bother me. Molly. Uh, there's people coming. Well, there's no time, Carver. I'm in no hurry, hurry. I'll tell you what. Don't like it, you can lump it, that's what. You're being big. Ah, leave me alone. Oh, man, turn into a little kid. Hey, Carver, you're a bit too old to go carrying on. And you're a little bit young to understand it's an opportunity for me to, to comfort me heavy heart. Be Jupiter. You old fox, oh, son of a... Break your back, I'll... All right, hold it. One more step and I'll fill you full of lead. What do you want? Buenos dias, senora. 
What do you want, anyhow? We could use a little grub, one of your ponies to ride on, and a, a lady. You got any dough? Now to plug wood and nickel, senora. Then have a little sarsaparilla. <laughs> He must be local. Well, no doubt about it. You must recall, sure, it's been 20 years, but still... Well, now, there's a lot of Danny. Uh, uh, Carver. Danny Carver, with the mining company. You were the one that used to ship gold? Uh, you remember. Oh, <laughs> the memories you just uncovered. How are you doing, partner? <laughs> no, be careful, senor. He's very delicate. Please forgive me for a while, friends, but Molly and I got a lot of memories to talk over. Right, dear? Yeah, ain't kidding. <laughs> Blessed be this day of sweet encounter. Watch your step, Dad. Oh, we go. There you are. Tomorrow is some other day. That's some nice girls over there, so why not? Do... You stay here. Carver is likely to tell her why we're here with him. We'll have to split up another part. Huh. Where's my gringo? I like you were for me. Untie the horses. Oh, Gringo Lou. Ay, ay, ay. She muy bonita. But you can't ride on her. Oh, you don't think so? She very good ride. Untie the caballos. Untie the caballos. Oh, my God. Help. Hurry, he's dying. Already? Oh, hurry, I'll do something. Wait a minute, Paco. Yeah, come. Close door, Paco. Huh? Oh, she, she. Cut it out now. Come on, Carl. Please, hombre. Uh, don't sleep. Grandpa, wake up. No, it's no fair to die now. Don't forget, we made a pact. Come on now, Carver. Where'd you put the gold? He is rising. Hurry up, get a pen. Si, si. Here's the pen. Get some ink. Oh, of course. Get some ink. There. There is no ink. Give here. Huh? Huh? Hold still. Here you go, Carver. Very pretty. Huh? Down by the river. <laughs> there ain't no river around here. Huh? Uh, well, I said there ain't no river, you idiot. Uh, <laughs> there is the river, but on the other side of the mountain, there's the river. <laughs> hmm. 
You happen to be lying. Ranger, take a look. It's a warden with them guards. Been trailing us since we left town. Let's stay here. I hate to take the chance. Come on, Apache, after him. Let's ah! ah! bam loose. Ah! 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 You ain't heard the end of this, do you? on your soul. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Oh, give me that. Don't you know how to ride? You never go, uh, to Mexico? No. Bueno, that's pretty good. What? Now that we were only two to make the bars, eh? Yeah. Pretty close to Mexico, huh? The air is good. Smell like flowers. Uh, where are we headed, Paco? Well, you read what the old man write, no? Yeah, well, so did you read it. Well, I, I don't know how to read it. <laughs> you don't know how to... I don't know how. You're ignorant. <laughs> Your whole family is poor as a mouse. Nobody can write. We got no school in the village. Well, you might have said it. Well, what are you... Are you reading, no? What the hell you... you think, eh? It's just that I... It's just that you... Can't read either. You don't know how. And you put in the fire... A piece of paper <laughs> written in blood... <laughs> oh, merda, de merda, de merda, de merda. Get out of the pigeon, will you? Let's see if the old man's still... Kidding. Oh, Santa Paloma, where? Oh, 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 oh. Is he dead yet? No. He's on his last breath, though. Si, sí, si. Sí. You know why they did gringo? Because we're bad inside and out. You might even make me cry. <laughs> now, cut it out, Pete. Say, 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 shut up. I love you. Say, gringo. And, uh, let's go home. I'm off. I'm off. Are you almost through, Paco? Huh? Oh, si, si, padre. Yeah, this isn't a very pleasant place to rest, is it? Oh, it's all right to rest in peace. Like our friend that we bury here. Hmm. Ego te absolvo, Daniel Carl. Let us pray, Father. Si, si, Father. You begin. Well, how do you know who he was? Ah, we all knew Daniel Carl. He lived here in this town, oh, a long time ago. Twenty years ago? Exactly twenty years. He was uh, oh, very well liked here in San Fermin. And the Lord wanted to be Daniel here to find the miraculous and saintly image. An image? A divine likeness, a statue of our patron saint, San Fermin. The carver found it in a grotto. Ah, yet it was no ordinary statue. No, no, senor. In fact, the statue was heavy. It weighed down like, like gold. Excuse me, uh, but is the miracle statue still in the ground, padre? Oh, no, no, my son. It was carried in town by the villagers in procession. Let's set it in the churchyard, they say, say. Oh, good Lord, since then there is no telling all the wonders in the miraculous hap... Hey, you won't find I it. I just for every day, we go to San Fermín. Adios, Padre. 
I have to tell you the rest. Hey, we. Oh, God have mercy and protect. Siesta. He will kill you. He's a very bad man, Dino. He's a killer and a robber, too. Yeah, well, what's there to find in this miserable village? The sacred image de San Firmin. Oh, huh? They are all looking for it. Uh, I only saw one guy. There's at least tw 20. That's more blood than I figured out. A glass of agua, por favor. Whenever you're ready, Hefe, uh, I light up the whole town. Uh, well, then, you know Fermin Rojas likes you. I like all of you. That is son. But I don't like when you tell lies, and that's why before I break your neck. Who are you? Why are you making little snarl balls? <laughs> I'm talking to you. Oh, where to begin? Let us begin by asking my beloved sons, where did you put the statue of San Fermin? What? You see what I mean? Come on, I don't like to cut nobody's heart out. Although I'm ashamed, I'm going to tell you the truth. The whole truth. I need a saint. I'm a lousy man. Who must repent and pray to? You know, no? A saint is nobody for you to fool around. You get the fire of hell. So now you tell me. Who's got it? Huh? Pigs, you sons of a dog! I come to save your souls like a brother, and you don't want! Oh, well, that's all right. You'll learn to respect Rojas. I will crack you in two, all of you! Come on, we begin with you. No, no. I'll pay the coward. Pay the coward. No, no, no. Nobody will tell you murderers! Nobody will talk Rojas! We will say nothing! Up in the tower, quick! For your order. Calm down. Now you wait. I have to ask a question to those morons who are behind their windows hiding. Hey! If I get San Firmin, then I go. You have three minutes to decide. I only have two minutes. In one minute, I will hang your peon. Oh, 
Poor Manolo. He will be hung. Somebody must have told Rojas about the gold. No, he knows nothing. He wants to know is only you and me. I'm waiting for an answer. Speaks. Where is the statue of the San Fermin, eh? Send for me, Rojas. Oh, bienvenido, padre. Please sit down. Don't you see the padre? Get a chair for him. He will go straight to hell. He will go to hell. How can you predict another's hell, Rojas, when you're such a foul and hideous criminal? Will you be unkind to me, no? It's those peons, you don't know how stubborn and stingy they all are. Oh, but now you're here. And maybe you know where is the statue. I am not going to tell you that, Rojas. Oh. I am not. Never. But, Padre, no one needs San Fermín more than I. You're being cruel. Life is difficult. Federal troops are everywhere you go. It is no easy to go on like this. One needs the miracle of a saint, no? Do you, I swear, I will pray to him. Every night. I pray that the stagecoaches pass along all full of gold, and if the Federal show up, we will kill everyone. And when we have all the gold, you have my word. I will take it here and place it at your feet. You're insane, Rojas. How could you think that our San Fermin could protect a criminal like you? Because my name is Fermin, just like they say. So he has to protect me, no? And then you see, I will be the special altar with candles all around. Oh, the miracle. Listen, instead, I, I would have a suggestion. Would you consider making an exchange with the hostages? That is to say, you take me in exchange for the others. Oh, no, Padre. Firmin Rojas is muy religious. I'd rather to cut my army, too, than to hurt the padre. Understand? Father Javier, for us is sacred. The first one who puts a hand on the padre will be killed with my own hands. When you touch the padre, you're touching his aid. You understand, son of a dog? Mm. And with this now, dear padre, I ask your blessing. Lift your head, please, Rojas. You're just a buffoon whose behavior is offensive to God. Mm, I got to break your your filthy neck. Pablito! Senor, throw him at the door! No, without using force. But then it's bad luck. Out! All of you! Out! Hello, boys. <laughs> hey, muchacho! Hurry up, or Rojas will break your head. Oh, my dear, my dear, my dear. Hurry up. Move. Move. He wants to see you, drunken pigs. Vamos, vamos, puros. All right, let's cross. Vamos. Is anything wrong? Let us come in, Padre. We want to help oh, you. Yes, yes, of course. It's certainly come. Gracias, Padre. Uh, you like to get rid of Rojas and save the whole town? How? Oh. Um, my amigo will explain. Well, the point is, I'm pretty good at making things with my hands. Paint, sculpt, and model. I mean, if you give me a little bit of clay, I can uh, mold you a beautiful saint or something. Really? Yeah. Who would have thought it? I've done a 
Many things, Padre. But I'm devoted only to art. You can tell by my hand. <clears throat> what is your proposal? My plan is to make an exact perfect copy of your patron saint. A copy that Rojas won't suspect. And you give the copy to Rojas and save the village. What do you think, Maria? Unless you have another solution, Padre, why not try? Yes, why not try? Oh, but, Padre, I can't work without seeing the statue. Oh, naturally, naturally. It should be in here. Uh, in the closet? Yes, here it is. But you should have no trouble copying it. I know, but Padre, I was referring to the original. The holy card is not sufficient. Your intent is so noble that San Firmin will inspire the artist that is in you. Now go with the Lord, my son. Mm, thanks, Padre. You're welcome. Uh, poor fellow looks so ugly. How can he do miracles with such a face? And beside that, who is telling us that he's full of gold and no full of balloon? Come on, let's go. Go where? To get rid of Rojas. Huh? That's too alone. I mean, it's possible. We can't fight yeah. San Fermin ain't leaving here with Rojas around. And Rojas ain't leaving till San Fermin shows up. Vicious little circle. Oh, and tomorrow we go back, eh? On your feet, my little head. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Hey, where are you going? Huh? You stand guard here and let nobody come in. Nobody. <laughs> if you don't say eh, you say si, senor. Si, senor. That's better. Hey, si, senor. Huh? I just said stand guard, let nobody in. Not to me, no. What the hell happened? Shh. Who are you? Huh? Get down. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Sure, gringo. Yeah, why not? Oh, porque, oh, porque, be, be, because, because otherwise we kill him, no? No. You gotta put the pistol down, gringo. Eh, si, si. Ah, what a clod. Grab your gun, gringo. Mind if I stick a bullet in his throat? Grab your gun, I say. Well, that's here. What you got to say? Uh, You've lost your tongue? Uh, my cousin, that's almost my brother. He like to be in your gang. Uh, and for that reason, you killed five of my men. Huh? We had to prove our worth to you. Oh, I admit we played a little dirty. 
But we figured you'd appreciate that. Mm. You're two pretty good fighters. My men say you have courage. So I think for once I want to be good. I'm going to liberate one of you. But only one of you. You got stink all over my clean skin. Why should I free you? Because I don't do nothing. Because we are two, two Mexicanos and, and the smartest. Shut up, stupid. Rojas does everything with justice. I got no favorite, never. So it will be one of you, my friends, that decides who is going to be killed. <laughs> I know how to make a decision. Shut up. Light the fuse, Melchiade. You ready? Si, si, Rojas. Vamos, vamos. Shut up, shut up. All right, then. So the first to pull out the dynamite in a barrel of water will be safe. Get out of your way. But no tricks, huh? Don't try to help each other. Otherwise, you will be shot. I am ready. So are you. Vamos, cabrón. <laughs> ¡Vamos, bellacos! ¡Vamos! ¡A ver quién tiene más fuerza! ¡Vamos! You save our life. Hello, Trash. Get the gold? Gold? What gold? <laughs> our patient's close to run out. You overplaying your hand, Trash. Come on. I don't know nothing. Carver didn't make it. Yeah, but you did. If I know you, you got the old man to talk before he died, right, Trash? Yeah. Hmm. Go to hell. <laughs> you know, I kind of like this dirty old Pueblo. Villagers think we done saved the day. So I'm in no hurry to leave you. Just take your time. You know, but I'm in a hurry. You know, it was Apache Joe here who got this Indian torture rigged up. You see, he wet these here bands made a special kind of fiber that dries so tight it can strangle you. Now, if you'd rather get strangled to talking, well, go right ahead. Preacher. 
I'm listening. Go find your pudding. <laughs> Hey, you. Hey, Chico. Who, me? Come a little closer. That's it, see? Eh, leave the burro there and call Maria. Tell her Paco needs you. See, the poor guy's in trouble. What a face. Do you understand? Si, senor. Well, why you wait? Go. And now, vamos. Move. Si, senor. If you don't talk, I'll strangle him. You sure those reeds are getting tighter? They're very tight. It's no use working over this critter. The Mexican's our guy. He babbles easy. I get him. No. Stick around here. Relax and don't worry. In here you are safe. See, only can I stay alone with you for a while so that I can, so I can pray. <laughs> oh, God bless you. Come, my dear. Santa Bean, I love you like a brother, like a sister, like like heaven, oh, it's like. So, so moving to see such devotion. <laughs> Tell you the truth, senor. What's going on, Spottles? Yeah, he helped Mexican get away. Well, where is he now? I... You what? I don't know too much, senor. He looked pretty dead when I took him to the grotto. Well, didn't he say anything? I don't know, like... He asked for some filmin. Wouldn't you know it? Wouldn't you know what? He screwed us out of the gold. Hmm? The hell's that for me got to do with that gold? Oh. Nothing. Didn't Rojas want that statue? What is it, a solid gold sink? Leave me be. And I'll tell you how to go about finding him. You're a little late, fella. Take us to the grotto, kid. No. Padre Javier, no me perdonaría. What the hell's he cackling? Go on, get moving. Come on. So long, trash. We'll come by tomorrow morning to catch you down. Listen, I know where the gold is if you want to get it. Well, why didn't you take it for yourself? They're no gringo. 
There are some guys it's better not to screw. I be always on the run. And with you on the tail. Now nah, it's much better I don't screw you. So now it's let's go get this saint, huh? Huh, yeah. partner? Easy. Easy. You take this. Here's your medicine, huh? And with my medicine, you figure to get the preacher, is that right? No, I figure. Uh, you my partner, no? I figure we go get the gold. It's not possible. It belongs to the people. Don't you realize you're committing a sacrilege? <laughs> Stop! You cannot take the saint. No? Don't you understand his sacred? All right, look, I Touch don't... it and he'll punish you. You can put in a good word for me. Only outside. Get out. Go away. Hear that, boys? Yeah. Come on, throw my off. <laughs> You're a 
pretty smart fellow there, Joe. We can forget about them horses. If we're gonna have to part, then let's divide the gold. Okay, we split. Right here on the spot. Hey. Jackass. Yeah, well, you know how it is. Joe's an Indian, don't forget. Yeah. Does that mean he should be riding a burro? Hey, what's with on his back? Adios, amigos. How's going on? Hey, Joe. Hold it. Wants to play? Let him go. We'll split three. Get all that and get him back here. Spottle's got point. All right, go on. Let's go. Come on. Hey, Joe! Hey, Joe, stop, can you? Hey, what the... What happened to him? Holy smoke! Holy cow! He's being dynamited! Why don't you go up and take a look? Why don't you? Maybe it ain't dynamite. It maybe it is. And there ain't much you can do about it, is there? <laughs> you wouldn't drop that on us, would you, Trash? Hmm? Would you? Would you? Trash? Yeah, only it wouldn't explode. I'm holding a candle. What? What? Hmm? Hey. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> your hat on and get. so high. They found it, just think, in the grotto underneath the statue of San Firmin. <laughs> Sam Fermin would not deny you a little hand for it. Many of our brothers died to save the statue of Sam Fermin. And yet now, thanks to that gold, we shall be able to alleviate a great deal of suffering. Go on, take some. You have both done so much for us, it is only right that you, that you have your share. It will also give us a chance to show you our gratitude. Besides, a little gold, when placed in the right hands, when used with discretion, loses its evil quality. Go on, my son. Take a handful. I ain't no beggar. Uh, 
All is bad when it ends bad, is it? Not true. But it's a fairy old property. Listen, Max, are you the one that found the gold or the one that put it there? Okay, so you don't trust me. Who cares? He's better if you go home. Well, you can light my cigarillo. It's better we both go different ways, huh? We know very lucky together. Adios, amigo. Adios, gringo. Mexico, I'll follow you in the hell. No. <laughs> 